Hau diri minum syuk. Syuk diru. Niku ganahan ya nak. Hi everyone, Krisha here from Third World Book Nerd. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm so excited because we're finally taking a look at our Big Bad Wolves book haul. So stay tuned. Okay, so our little nerd prayers have finally been answered. Big Bad Wolf books came to Cebu last July 13th to the 23rd, bringing with them a million books, 60 to 80 percent discounts, and our little nerdy hearts just couldn't take it. So. Me and my sisters were invited to the preview day, that was July 12, and we kind of unleashed ourselves and bought a lot, a lot, a lot of books. So this haul um, is basically all the books that we bought among ourselves, so I can't wait to show you guys what it is. So just a bit about preview day, um, it was so hectic. Hey, we're here! We didn't expect that many people to show up. The environment was still so nice. Um, there were so many book lovers there. It was like a congregation of so many introverts and so many book nerds. You can see people hugging, crying, smelling their books, and I loved it. Even though my feet got trampled on by the push carts and those weird baskets on wheels thingy, I wouldn't trade the experience for the world. It was such a it was such a great experience overall. Just a heads up, this book haul is split among me and my sisters. Personally, I just got four books for myself because I'm poor and I can't afford 20 books. But still, um, all in all, um, we spent about 5,000 pesos and that's already 20 books plus plus. If these books were sold at their regular prices, we could have only gotten like oof, less than 10, I believe. So. Yeah, here we go. We got a lot of fiction ones first because that was where the crowd was the thickest and I was kind of scared that all the books that I wanted would be taken away and then they won't restock it anymore. So that was my um, priority when we got to the Big Bad Wolf book sale. So here's what we've got. Um, my first pick of that day is uh, carry On by Rainbow Rowell. If you've read Fangirl um, by Rainbow Rowell, you'll know that the characters of this book are basically like Harry Potter and Draco Malfoy with an LGBTQ fanfiction twist. So it's really, I'm very excited for this one. I have really high hopes for it. Next up, we have, oh my gosh, hello, Khaleesi, hello, Finnick Odair, uh, we've got Me Before You, it's the movie tie-in cover, and this is one of my sister's picks. I was kind of tempted to pick it up, but I didn't for myself because I've already read the book a couple of years ago, and well, I liked it, but the ending just had me throwing my phone across the room because I didn't like it and it made me ugly cry. So this book, I don't have a lot of good memories of it. But still, if you want to read it, go ahead at your own risk and heartbreak. <laughs> we can't have me before you without the sequel, after you. This is one of my picks. Um, when I first heard that the author was doing a sequel to Me Before You, I was kind of disappointed somewhat because I thought that the ending of Me Before You should be left as it is. Like, it should be, well, spoiler alert, it should be like a hanging um, kind of ending for Lou. Curiosity kind of took over and um, yeah, I picked it up. And this one is only 190 pesos. 190 pesos. 190 pesos. If you buy this at the bookstore um, on a regular day, this will cost you 500 pesos at least. So you basically save 310 bucks. Is it? Oh my gosh, I'm so good at math. This 
This next book is something that we were very excited about. There was a huge crate full of this book and we snatched it up immediately. This is Harper Lee's Go Set a Watchman. Check out the price tag! We got this hardbound beauty for only 230 pesos, which was a total steal. Again, regular bookstore price, you'll get this for around 800 to 900 pesos. And who on earth will give you that kind of discount? Plus, this book is, as you can see, it's a beautiful hardcover book. We never buy hardcovers because we can't afford it. They're so expensive. <laughs> To finally have this chance to buy the books we want at a super, super discounted price. It's a total godsend and I'd like to thank Big Bad Wolf Book so much for dropping by here in Cebu and making a lot of book nerds such as myself very, 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 very happy. Cha's feelings. This one is another hardcover and this was also one of the books that got snatched up so quickly. I don't think they restocked it. I'm not sure if they have more of this, but it's Mitch Albums. The Magic Strings of Frankie Presto. I haven't read this book personally. This was one of my sister's picks. Um, but I have read most of Mitch Albums' works. Um, my favorite one is The Five People You Meet in Heaven. Basically, Ugly cried to that one as well. Yeah. That book was so moving for me. It was such an important part of my childhood. Childhood. Oh, I just aged myself. It was such a huge part of my growing up years. So I think this book would also be a wonderful read. And I can't wait to start. Even though it's technically not my pick. Ha! Another modern classic in our list is... Paolo Coelho's Love. This one is 230 bucks. And take a look at the cover. So pretty. This is basically a collection of quotes from Paolo Coelho. I have one of his books, Like a Flowing River, which was um, full of quotations and anecdotes. And I thoroughly enjoyed it, although I don't know where it is right now. Somebody borrowed it and didn't return it. Whoever you are, my friend, I ulit na tao na akong libro. Thanks. I love how beautiful the cover is. There's a kind of texture in it. I want to open it. Can I open it without her permission? Nah, I don't wanna. It might hurt me. One of my sisters is a huge fan of Lemony Snicket and his book, um, A Series of Unfortunate Events. So we found these ones at the, um, I believe it was the children's, young adult, or young readers um, pile. And we've got two books from Lemony Snicket. And um, my sister's actually slowly building her Lemony Snicket collection. She always goes to book sale to see if there are any um, Lemony Snicket books that she hasn't had yet. Such a great coincidence that these books were at Big Bad Wolf. Next up, we've got Demigods and Magicians by Rick Riordan. This is a hardbound book. Got it for 230 pesos, which is a total steal yet again. And I love this one because um, I went through a phase where I really, 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 really loved um, the Percy Jackson series. I still love it now, but I think I've outgrown it a bit. Still, um, the series was very entertaining. I really loved it. and. I devoured all of Uncle Rick's books, starting from the PJO series up to the Heroes of Olympus and then to the King Chronicles. That's it for demigods and magicians. I love Perka Beth, I love the Kane siblings, and I can't wait to see them all in action together in one book. And last but not the least on our fiction pile is. Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness. I know this is book three of the Chaos Walking series and that's all my fault. All three books were there. All three. All three books were there. I got the third one instead of the first. I don't know what's wrong with me. But still, that just means that I have to get my hands on the first two and I have to go back to Big Bad Wolf books before they go away on the 23rd. It's currently the 21st, so I still have a couple of days to redeem myself and get the rest of this series. 
So that's it for our fiction pile. We still have the classics pile. They really did have a lot of good classics and literature selection. And another thing is that the editions that we found there had wonderful covers that's really to die for. I can't wait to buy a new bookshelf so that we can all display these beautiful babies in one area. Currently, what we have is our TV stand. And I want to convince my mom to get rid of the dinosaur TV, but she wouldn't for some sentimental reasons. I'm not sure why, but that's definitely one of my goals for this year. An actual bookshelf. Yay! First off, we've got Madness by Roald Dahl. We know Roald Dahl as an author of a lot of classic children's books, but little do people know, or little do I know, that he also has a series on the darker side of the human psyche, and this one is um, Madness. He has three other books um, for this series, Deception, Cruelty, and Lust, which we all saw there. I actually find it really strange when children's authors delve into something deeper. It's like seeing a comedian do a dramatic role or something like that. I'm actually quite curious on what this book has in store for us. Up next, we have, this is one of my personal picks, and I love it. It's Withering Heights by Emily Bronte. Just take a look at that gorgeous cover. Yeah. And I've often been told that I don't read enough classics, and that's kind of true. So I'm trying to remedy that by buying my own stack of classic books, starting with this one. And the thing about classic books for me is that it's gonna sound really stupid, but they have so many words. <laughs> for me, they beat around the bush too much. I know it's the convention during the time and age, but for my brain, it's just a lot to process. And so that's why I don't gravitate to classic books a lot. But again, I'm trying to remedy that. Up next, we have again another cover by Tender is the Night by F. Scott Fitzgerald. It really seems like our shelves have been blessed with a lot of wonderful classic books with even more wonderful covers. So can't wait to read this one. This one! Bram Stoker's Dracula. I really love the cover of this one. I mean, just want to take a close up of it. Can you see that? Oh, beautiful. Again, I can't wait to put it on a nice, wonderful shelf where they live happily ever after and be read and be loved. And yes, we've only got a couple more books left. And one of the last ones here is The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Total classic, must have in every bookshelf. You can only seldom see poetry books at a discounted price. One of my sisters picked this up. It's called To the Moon, an anthology of lunar poems. And we have A Room with a View by E.M. Forster. Again, uh, I just wanna, I just want you to appreciate the cover. I just wanna hole up in my room and read all of these books and not interact with humanity. Aside from the usual fiction and non-fiction books, Big Bad Wolf Books also has activity books like this one. It's The Imaginary World of Blank by Carrie Smith. Carrie Smith, if you don't know, um, is the creator of Breakfast Journal. You know, that journal where it instructs you to do all these crazy things to release your creativity, boredom, and or both. What I love most about Big Bad Wolf books is that so many people from different parts of my life were there and it was so fun to see them geek out over books and it made me realize that hey, we're all kind of connected in more ways than one and it's such a wonderful thing to see. Literature and the love of books and reading actually binds us all together and it was so funny. And 
wonderful at the same time. Then again, not all reactions are actually positive about this sale. I think I heard a couple of people on social media rant that um, people were just there for the hype, they're not really real readers, and they don't love reading as much as they love books, and all of it was for show. And to that, all I can say is, Dude, leave these kids be. Whether or not they truly like reading, at least they're there and discovering how wonderful it is. They're there and discovering how wonderful books are. They're there to bond with people who may have the same interests as them. So I think it's a nice way for, for people to get to know literature and love it. Sure, they may not be as hardcore as you are. They may not like literary giants like you do, but reading is reading, you know, it's universal. And I think it's wonderful that we can all come from different walks of life, different preferences, and just be in one place and be happy little nerds, you know? Yeah, I know. So that has been it everyone. This has been our awesome book haul video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I hope that you dropped by Big Bad Wolf Books and treated yourself to many wonderful reading gems along the way. So there you have it guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I have to fix this all now. <laughs> Bye.